Hey guys, it's Ava, and welcome back to my channel. So, today is obviously another squishy makeover, but this time I got a table and a ring light instead of a lid from a bin. So, yeah, basically I ditched my cheap setup and went with this, so I hope you like it. Now, let's get started with the squishy makeovers. So first we have this kind of heart cake or cookie squishy with a bunch of sprinkles. As you can see, there's a little hook thingy, which I don't like. So um, we're going to remove that. And then I'm going to remove all of the little sprinkles with tweezers. And now I'm removing extra little foam chunks. I'm also sanding the squishy to make sure the paint will stick to it. And that little hole from the hook, I'm filling it with the little extra pieces of foam. Then I'm filling that hole with paint along with a couple other little holes just so everything can be even. And then I let that dry, and I'm starting to paint the actual cookie, and then I messed up, and wiped it all off, and started over, and mixed a new color, and blah blah blah. Also, please ignore the fact that some of these clips are sideways. I don't know why that happens, it just does. Now that the back is all painted and dry, I'm going to start with the top layer of the white paint, which is the frosting in this case. While that's still wet, I'm going to put some sprinkles on it. I'm doing this so this has more of a design than just being a blank cookie with nothing on it. Also, these are the same sprinkles from before, and oh my god, it took forever to rip off all those little foam parts. I can't. Like, it's it was awful.
So here's the before and after. I actually really love the way this squishy turned out. Now we are getting started on the cat, and there's something weird on the tail. What is that? So, unfortunately for me, we have to cut open the tail because it's an air pocket, and there's nothing in it. Like, there's supposed to be foam, and there's not. This is gonna be kind of an orange cat, so I made, like, a lighter version of a bright orange for this squishy. Now that that's all painted, we're starting with the mouth where you have to paint the whole ring white. And then we have to paint the little ear designs and the little heart on the collar. Then we can do the nose and the mouth. The eyes were actually not as hard as it usually is to paint eyes on a squishy. I don't know why, I just found this easier. And then we're gonna do the little fur on the stomach part. Sorry, a lot of this was out of frame. I really was trying to focus on painting this like to make it look good. Okay, so I chose neon pink for the collar and I went around and painted the whole thing. realized the collar was neon orange but honestly it's fine i'm not that mad so now i'm doing the whiskers and i'm kind of just doing a dot at each end and then like slowly connecting each one and taking my time on it So here is the before and after. I really like the after. It's like one of the best animal squishies I've ever done. And now it's time for the cheeseburger that we're turning into a cheeseburger. And we have to sand it, of course. And I didn't mention before, but I low-key forgot to sand the other cat squishy. First, I'm just doing a white layer of puffy paint to seal up all the holes. And now I'm mixing a nice tan color for the cheeseburger. And I used so much white paint in this thing of mixing. It is unbelievable. I used like half the bottle on this one little container. personally think this part is really satisfying. I don't know why, it's just something about the way I painted this whole thing is just really satisfying to me.
Now that I've painted everything tan, I have to start on the details, so I'm starting with the lettuce because it just seems like the easiest thing to start with. So I let that dry overnight and now I'm getting started on the burger. I'm just going around the edges with a toothpick and trying to do it as thin as I possibly can so I have room for everything else. And now I'm doing the cheese and this clip is upside down because my camera doesn't know how to work. And last minute, I decided to add some little tomato slices just to add another color. So here's the before and after and I can honestly say that this one is my favorite one that I've done this whole episode and maybe ever, I don't know yet. Thank you guys for watching this squishy makeover. If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want more squishy makeovers or you want me to film other kinds of videos, make sure you comment down below what you want to see. I love you guys. Bye.